Hello and welcome back to Rick's Flicks. Good to see you again. Today we are counting down the top six spellbounding Diagon Alley features that are underappreciated by park guests. But before we begin, we publish theme park videos on this channel all the time. So hit that subscribe button and that bell notification button so you'll know when another video is ready for you to view. Diagon Alley. Everyone appreciates the fire-breathing dragon, the escapes from Gringotts ride, the leaky cauldron, etc., etc. But today, I'm going to show you a few cool things that seems to escape the attention of the masses. So what we're talking about is kind of the things that fly under the radar here at Diagon Alley. First things first, a lot of people, mainly muggles, still miss the entrance to Diagon Alley. That's because it's a secret entrance, guys. Right through here, right where these brick walls are, this is how you get into Diagon Alley. Now, regarding the night bus, so here's the thing. A lot of people enjoy the front of the night bus, interacting with the bus driver and the shrunken head and all that. But I invite you to check out the back of the bus. So we'll just take a little step into the back of the bus here. And you can see the night bus is all decked out, ready for people. Stranded wizards and witches. Got three beds back here. Got a little sofa to the left. Some luggage. I don't know if you can make this out, but each of the beds even has a little toothbrush holder on it. They are really prepared to help out those stranded witches and wizards. The other unappreciated thing about the London facade is the house elf creature. Now he makes an appearance in this window and he has three moves. The first move is just he'll pull the curtain back to reveal himself. Then the next move is he'll nod once and then lastly he'll do a double nod at you. So the first time Nikki saw a creature peek out the window, she kind of freaked out a little. I didn't tell her what was going to happen. I said, hey, check out this window. And she freaked out a little bit. After entering Diagon Alley, we're going to make a right by the Weasley's Joke Shop here. Also a fun place to check out if you're in here, by the way, this Weasley's Joke Shop. But regardless, we're going to kind of make our way to the stage area. This is the stage area that Celestina Warbeck and the Banshees perform, and they also do a show here uh, regarding the tale of the three brothers. But just to the left of the stage, right here, is a little place where you can exchange your muggle money for wizard money. They'll do it in 10s or 20s, so you can get a wizard $10 bill, or you can get yourself a wizard $20 bill. Now, you can keep your money as a keepsake souvenir, or you can use the money here in Diagon Alley and Hogsmeade for purchases like food or merchandise or butterbeer and such. Gringotts banknotes can be purchased for 10 or 20 muggle dollars. We will handle the conversion fully. Okay guys, I just got out of the money exchange and I learned something. I thought it was only for Diagon Alley and Hogsmeade, but no, you can use this through all three theme parks, regular gift shops, anything like that most places on city walk and, and like in the hotel uh, gift lobbies and stuff so more than i expected let's check out the money though so it comes in this nice green gots envelope in case you're going to keep it as a keepsake but let's open it up and see what the currency looks like so there we are there's the front side of my ten dollar note we've got the back side here pretty cool looking now i can spend this or keep it as a souvenir i think i'm going to spend it today though Number four on today's countdown, let's have a potion put in our water. At the Elixir of Refreshment, this is a small beverage kiosk that you find sort of on the opposite side of the money exchange. Here, you'll find a variety of elixirs that when combined with water, transforms before your eyes into a unique, colorful, and flavorful beverage. You can choose from the Fire Protection Potion, the Babbling Beverage, Drought of Peace, or the elixir to induce euphoria. So the question is, which potion do I want to get? I figure since I am vlogging today, let's get the babbling potion. So as you can see behind me right here, I have my gilly water, my babbling potion. Let's mix it together and try it out. Well, 
give it a shake, then mix it up. Cheers! Not bad, not bad, I like it. I had my doubts at first, but pretty good. Um, but if you like, you don't have to have your potion mixed right away. You can just buy a potion and take it home as a souvenir, as a keepsake, or maybe to use later. Next on our countdown, don't just watch Celeste and Warbeck and the Banshees. I'll show you a little trick to help you get in the show itself. Let's check it out. I've been in the show a couple times now. Now if you stand near the front, in particular near this railing here, and you look kind of engaged with the performance and what's going on, you'll have a good chance of being picked to do a little part in this show. Like this guy right here. Item number two on today's countdown, the secret wand spots of Diagon Alley. There's two of them here. And by secret, I mean they're not on the map and they're not marked on the ground with a medallion. Let's go check them out. So over here by Scribulus, we have a marked wand spot right over here. But then next to it on the other side is a secret unmarked wand spot. On that side is the marked spot. We can kind of see the medallion down there. But over here to the right, there's no medallion on the ground. This is a secret unmarked spot that I have showed before. Right in here, right there is the sensor. Do a little triangle and a little message is going to pop up on the scroll here. So now that we've seen the secret wand spot over here at Scribulus, we're going to walk around the corner and I'm going to show you another secret wand spot. So this next one is kind of cool but kind of gross. It actually has to do with dragon poop. And it, it really smells like brimstone, like I guess dragon poop would smell like. So right over here by Slug and Jiggers, this little purple section, this is where you're going to find the other secret wand spot. So right there to the left of the bucket of dragon poop, right under that little green plant or whatever, that's the sensor that you'll do your little triangle movement to make the dragon poop kind of move up and down and release that kind of a uh, brimstone smell. And just to give you a little more of a description of where Jig and Jiggers is, it's right across the alleyway from Ollivander's. Before we get to item number one on today's countdown, I do have one honorable mention to discuss with you guys. Let's go check it out. So inside Diagon Alley, there is a lot of what I like to call background theming. I mean, it's not blatant. It's there just under the surface. But over here, if you stand by the door of the Daily Prophet and listen, you'll hear what's going on in the Daily Prophet. There's a lot of this type of kind of background under the surface theming here in Diagon Alley. I just happen to like this one, but keep your eyes and ears open and you'll see a lot more. Stop the presses! Where is everybody? Anybody around here respect a deadline? What do you have there? My new spell checking quill. I have to get one of those. They're great. Saves you so much time. Do we have any wizard interest stories? A troll took first prize at a beauty pageant in Finland. Scandal in Scandinavia. Clearly the fix was in. Run it. And number one on today's countdown. 
Let's head into Nocturne Alley to watch the Shrunken Heads sing a song from the movie Jaws. So I think this is actually my favorite thing about Diagon Alley is the fact that I love the movie Jaws. They built the uh, Diagon Alley attraction over the old Jaws attraction here. And as a tribute to that, the Shrunken Heads are going to sing a song, Show Me the Way to Go Home, from the movie Jaws. Wherever I may roam on land or sea or foam You can always hear me singing this song Show me the way to go home 